Just a few thoughts. Um, lately I've been getting into some discussions, quite a few discussions actually, about the nature of nihilism, specifically existential nihilism. Uh, it's kind of a difficult thing to talk about. It's not what you expect from, you know, basically anyone to talk about because the entire nature of nihilism does uh, tend to lend itself towards not doing something. In this case, uh, well, nihilism, let's start with that. Nihilism is the negation of something that most people would consider important about life. I, I'm sorry if you can see the, the reflection of my glasses over here. I can see it too. There's really nothing I can do about it because I need them to see. Sorry, folks. Um, folks, what the fuck is wrong with me? I never use that word. Anyway, nihilism is the negation of something that people would consider important. In certain cases, there's ethical nihilism, which is the negation of the concept of morality, which states that morality is inherently constructed. You know, good and bad are things that people make up to either excuse or explain the actions that they do. It's a sensible concept, really. Um... But, you know, again, nihilism is, nihilism is, again, nothing more than just taking something, one thing, about life, and saying that this is unimportant, this does not matter. Um, existential nihilism is kind of the most important branch of this, or at least it's the most prevalent. Existentialism is essentially a philosophy that says, you exist. That's it. Existentialism, you exist. That is the point. There's, uh, it, it's, <laughs> it negates destiny. It says you exist, you are the architect of your own destiny. That is effectively what that means. Uh, as such, existential nihilism. You exist, and that doesn't matter. That's the entire thing. Your existence does not matter. Nobody's existence matters. My existence doesn't matter. Um, but it all hinges, actually I'll get back to that, um, existential nihilism is you do not have any consequence. The stars will continue to turn whether you live or breathe or not, live and breathe or not. The sun will rise tomorrow, the sun will set, the moon will rise, the moon will set. It is highly unlikely that anything can or will happen based on any single person's presence that will alter or affect the, co the course of even the most minor things on a galactic scale, on a cosmic scale. Because, you know, things that are important to a block in a city, like, you know, say somebody gets into a car accident and hits like three houses, that's important to a group of, to a group, a small group of people. But pull back and it's a city at large and that doesn't matter. Uh, pull back even further, one man can assassinate a president, which is blindingly stupid by the way. Every single person who's done it has wound up dead. Like, not, not naturally dead, but dead dead. Um, you know, someone can do something like that, assassinate a world figure, and that throws a country into turmoil, maybe two. In one case, the assassination of a world figure, the Archduke Franz Ferdinand, ended up with a world war, the first of its kind, that killed millions of people. And that's important on our global scale. But that didn't affect anything on Mars. Did it? it, it basically, the point is, no matter what you do, even though you seem important to yourself, you are not important to everything as a whole. You don't even matter. You're barely a... You're, you're not even a speck of dust. A single human being is statistically insignificant, and that's the entire point. But again, but again, you have to look at it, for, there's two different ways of looking at it. Typically, what most people would look at it as, and what the argument I kept having was, is, oh, this is, you know, a negative thing, you don't matter, so why bother doing anything? And I get it, I've been there before. If I don't matter, then why should I take any course of action? Why should I do anything at all? 
Why should I get up in the morning? Why should I go out and do things? Why should I even bother recording videos like this? Why should I write? Why should I read? If I don't matter, then nothing I do matters. But, you know, every once in a while, <laughs> every once in a while, hell, whenever I'm not feeling depressed and self-destructive, I come around to the other way of looking at it, which is, of course, nothing I do matters. Which is why everything I do matters. Because nothing I do will have a lasting effect on the world itself. I need to do what I can to make the people who know me now feel better because I'm around. Life is an adventure. Yeah, sure, at the end of it, you kind of lost everything you ever had. And in the end, nobody gets out alive. But the journey is the important part. It doesn't matter what's waiting for you at the end. That's that's another thing. I guess I guess it's easier to be an I guess it's easier to be an atheist if you think like this because it doesn't matter what happens at the end. It doesn't matter whether or not I live or die. It doesn't matter whether there's a heaven or a hell because I've already had my life, and that's the goal: is to have a life, to have something that you can call your own that matters to you, even though it won't matter to anyone else. Thanks for watching. Um, I guess if you like it, subscribe, like, whatever. Recommend the video to your friends. I don't really care. Because, again, it doesn't matter.